Spurgeon here with RevZilla talking about the speedy STR4 coupe clubs available at RevZilla.com. Now the STR4 coupe is a short version of the STR4 and the STR4 vent. And I say that because it takes a little bit from both of those gloves and then it just gives you a short non-full gauntlet version of that. So what you're going to see is a short cuff, street oriented sport glove, hard carbon knuckle on the back. You are going to get mixes of regular cowhide leather as well as goat skin as we work our way through this. Now when sizing comes into play, sizes are going to range from small to 3XL. And Speedy is going to be a European brand, however, they fit more on the American side. And I say that because when I'm wearing my Alpine Stars, my Revit, my Dianese, I'm a 2XL in gloves. When I come over to Speedy, the extra large fits me perfectly. So keep that in mind when you're considering sizing. If you're used to European gloves, definitely going to want to size down one full size. Four different colors available. I am wearing the red and the white version. And there's also going to be my other favorite color. There's a really nicely done blue and high vis yellow. So if you are a Suzuki rider and you're a fan of Suzuki and MotoGP, that's the glove that you're going to want to check out because it's going to match with your brand perfectly. Now, as far as Speedy is concerned, they are an Italian brand and they are pushing hard into the American market. We've really seen them ramp up over the past 12 months and the quality on their gear is honestly second to none. So what you're going to see with the STR4 coupe gloves around that $140 price point, like I said, this is going to take the the best of both worlds with the STR4s and the STR4 vents and it's going to mix it together in a short cuff glove. If you want to step up, you're going to want to step up to the STR4 vents. Really, they're a nice step up in protection as well over the traditional STR4. So keep that in mind. When you're stepping up from this, STR4 vents are the ones that you want to consider. Now, when we're taking a look at the STR4 coupes, what you're going to notice, you have full cowhide at the back of the hand. If you're looking down the palm, you're going to have a mix of goat skin as well as full synthetic, and you are going to have that warrior protection. But let's start at the wrist, and then we're going to work our way through this. So, Starting with the wrist closure on this, you have a single closure at the wrist, Velcro done over a buckle. The one thing I will say with this is I like the closure better on the TX2s. It uses a TPR closure, and I think you get a little bit of a better feel and better fit, easier on, easier off with this. But again, this is going to be that same closure carried down from the wrist on the STR4s. As you're working your way through the back, you're going to notice neoprene at the back of the hand. going to be nice and comfortable, especially as you're flexing your hand back and forth. And a little bit of padding at the back of the hand. And then you're going to get into that cowhide overlay. And that's going to work really nicely over the synthetic or over the carbon fiber knuckle. The reason I like the fact that they went with a full cowhide on the back of this is that traditional leather tends to break in over synthetic leather. So even though it feels really nice and comfortable as you first put it on, that leather will break in as you use the gloves and you're getting a really nice comfortable fit and feel, especially as it begins to stretch over those carbon fiber knuckles. As you work your way down on this, you're going to notice you have nice little bits of perforation. That cowhide is going to work its way all the way through the finger. And you're going to notice you have a full synthetic overlay on the outseam. That synthetic overlay is going to work its way down to the main part of the palm on this. And you are going to notice there is going to be some goat skin on the outer side of the fingers as well. With the Warrior armor on this, this is going to be that carryover from the STR4 vents that we're talking about. And this is really why you want to step up to those gloves if you are considering the bump up, is because the regular STR4s don't have any of the Warrior protection in the palm. They just have a traditional palm pad. So you're getting beefed up protection in the palm when you move up to that STR4 coupes or the STR4 coupe vent, or the STR4 vents rather. And again, this is where it just wraps back out to your single closure at the wrist. Again, an overall really nice beefed up street glove if you are looking for a short sport option for tearing down a back road on a Sunday afternoon. Now there's a lot of riders out there rocking speedy gear and if you want to hear more about what they have to say, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there rocking speedy. If you have more questions for us, pick up the phone, give one of our gear geeks a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, csarevzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Speedy STR4 Coupe Gloves. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.